comment on the film Man of God by Archpriest Sergei Baranov. Could you please give us your opinion on the film Man of God? Does it reflect precisely the essence of Father Nectarios's personality? Or is it more a commercial project? Father Sergei's response. The film Man of God gave me such an uplift that the phrase a commercial project kind of hurt me in my comprehension of this film. A commercial project is not about this movie. It didn't even sell out movie halls. In the end, it proved relatively uncommercial. Commercial projects have some other issues. In addition, at the very beginning, you may have noticed the blessing of the Holy Great Monastery of Vatopedi, Holy Mount Athos. I suppose that initially, the very idea of this film was some other, but not commercial. My attitude towards this film may be expressed as, I loved it. Honestly, a long time ago, my heart went out to St. Nectarios of Aina. Give his icon to me, please. I painted it last night and haven't finished it yet. I hope to God to finish it tonight. I love the saint very much. He is a combination of holiness and a simple humanness. As a human, he suffered a lot of injustice and tried to justify himself. Of course, he did it most politely. He did not use the means his opponents, those clerical rascals, used. Now it came to my mind in the morning I read Sofroni Sakharov. In one of his letters, he expressed his simple human sadness and even movingly sought sympathy as he was persecuted much in his life, just like St. Nectarios of Aina. I had fallen in love with St. Nectarios long before the movie was released, and the movie did not disappoint me. Moreover, it made me love him more. What else can I say specifically about the film? You know, the first sip does not detect a good expensive wine. It is recognized by its aftertaste. So, I recognize a good piece of art not by the first impression it makes, as it can be false or even can change. I recognize it by the aftertaste. This film has a good finish. After watching it, you want to stay alone with yourself and keep silent for a while in order to keep what you gained from this film. Also, there is a desire to whisper or to cease talking at all. I liked it a lot. But if some people didn't, I wouldn't like to argue or prove something as it would be disrespectful towards the film and the saint. I liked it both in the way of its spiritual aspect and in the way of art. The composition is great. There is one more detail. As I am a priest and a spiritual father myself, from my point of view, I could have noticed an unnatural play of the actors. But I didn't. I have no claims against the man who took part of St. Nectarios. Thank God he found the right way of representing and didn't show sainthood through emotions. Once I was asked to dub a film. It was a film about St. Joseph the Hesychist released not long ago in the West. A Hollywood actor took the part of St. Joseph, and I was asked to dub it in Russian. But I refused, because the actor, in contrast to the man of God, tried to reproduce St. Joseph through emotions, which does not correspond to the spirit of the saint at all. That film would have better pictured Francis of Assisi, a Catholic saint, who built his relationship with God through emotional euphoria. St. Joseph the Hesychist was different. Therefore, glory to God, they didn't overact in the man of God. That is what is precious about it. In addition, I liked the play of our Russian actor. He did it well, delicately and with a sense of harmony. If you lack the sense of harmony, you can go over the line and make your performance unnatural and ugly. Probably it is better to underact than overact, especially concerning such delicate and subtle matters. I have said as much as I might, as I have really liked the film. We all liked it, didn't we? 
When it will be available on the internet, we will watch it one more time in our movie hall.